right, today we're checking out a gun that I think everyone's been looking forward to since it was announced at SHOT Show a few months back. This is the Dragonfly MK2. And what's so special about this is it's a really nice pumper with a great wood stock and all that. But it's got a lever system in there, so it's half the effort to pump it. So anyone can pump this up easily and get a full power shot, no problem. I'm also guessing it's going to be pretty accurate because it's 2022, and that's how guns are now. Here's a quick sample. But there's going to be a lot of shooting later on in this video. So stay tuned for that. This is going to come in 177 or 22 caliber. By the way, if you want detailed information on this, just shoot over to pyramidair.com and check it out. I got a 22 caliber model today. Just a quick description. It says the Seneca Dragonfly MK2 multi-pump air rifle by Air Venturi is an accurate and versatile multi-pump pneumatic air rifle that features improvements compared with the prior model. Capable of full power velocities up to 950 feet per second. That's with alloy pellets in 177. 850 feet per second in 22. It provides the necessary power for small game hunting, pest control, and plinking. The velocity on lead pellets, which we're going to be using, in 177 caliber is going to be 800 feet per second, and the 22 caliber is going to be 730 feet per second. When you pump this gun, it's not going to get any harder. Your maximum power shot is going to be 15 pumps. You can do as little as 3 pumps and anywhere in between. Shooters can go from quiet backyard plinking that won't disturb the neighbors to powerful small game hunting, simply by using the easy and consistent pump technology to add more air to the reservoir. In order to provide accurate shots immediately, the air gun utilizes a fixed fiber optics front sight and a rear sight that adjusts for windage and elevation. It has a 1 half by 20 threaded muzzle cap that allows you to add a moderator or an air stripper. That's awesome. So yeah, that's what I remember. You guys can add an LDC to this. And then you can do your full power shots and be quiet. It's got a 11 millimeter dove's tail optics rail. Haven't seen one of those in a while. It says it's a light and convenient woodstock air rifle with the flexibility to excel at a range of shooting types. And what they're saying is pest control, plinking, or small game hunting. Here's the hardcore stats. The magazine capacity in 177 is 9 rounds. It's going to hold 7 rounds in 22 caliber. I'll probably be single shot loading it though, because that's what I'd do. It's a bolt action, it has a hardwood stock, and that pumping system that reduces the effort by 50%, that's called the Butterfly High Efficiency Pump System. Checkered grip, textured rubber butt pad, it weighs 6.5 pounds. Full-size rifle, barrel length of 23 inches. Oh, that's going to be good. And an overall length of 40 inches. Includes one magazine and a single shot tray. Awesome. All right, you guys, so I always clean my new air guns because all new air guns have preservative gunk in the barrel. So I went ahead and ran a JL Crown Saver through here. Boom. And use Ballastol, which is safe for air gun seals. Another thing a lot of you are going to be happy to hear, the preferred pellet of this gun is actually Crossman Premiers. In my testing, the Crossman Premiers did do pretty good, but I had the best luck with the JSB Hades. As you guys will see. So we'll get into all that. Just one last hardcore stat. It has a two-stage trigger. Ooh, that is smooth, but I didn't know exactly what was going to happen. Let's check that out again. So it's two-stage. So here's the first. Ooh. All right, I've tried this a few times. This trigger is so sensitive that it's hard for me to get the first stage. But that's, I guess that's the first stage, and then... Oh, that breaks nice. So this two-stage trigger has an official trigger pull weight of just 11 ounces. This is actually a gigantic pile of lead. A little bit of sawdust mix in. You just throw it in a five-gallon bucket. Everything that's not lead will float to the top, and you'll have a bunch of lead at the bottom. So when you pump this bad boy, that engages the pump, and then you bring it back, and right there's a full pump. So you don't have to close it. So as long as you go all the way back and engage it, that's a full pump. So it's real easy to just go. So I'm trying to keep it in the frame there, but this is pumping it. All right, you don't have to close it. When you're done, you close it. Take that safety off. Better watch out. Woo, that's loud too. 
Another thing is that when you don't have to close the gun to pump it, you're not jerking your scope around. So I had no problem putting my expensive Hawkeye scope on here. You guys, I used to do junk removal, and that's just one of the many things I got for free. So I'm sure it's worth something. It's uh, carved out of brass, baby. Anyway, I didn't get that for free. <laughs> Paid 600 bucks for that. Anyway, I just wanted to show you the safety right here. You just pop that out, and you're ready to rock and roll. Manual safety. The Dragonfly MK2, in addition to having a really nice trigger, great stippling on the grip and forend, and a high quality aluminum magazine, one of the best things about this gun has to be the fiber optic open sights. So although I didn't use those in this video, it has a great sight picture, so I'm sure you'd be able to do some precision shooting with it. Check out how smooth this bolt is. You just cock it back like that, put in your pellet of choice, or your magazine, and you're good to go. To decock the gun, just pull it back like that, grab this, let it down gently, and now you're decocked. You should probably store your gun decocked. This has an aluminum Marauder style magazine with a plastic cover. To load the magazine, you just turn the cover to the left, and that's going to spin the inner wheel with it. Then while you're holding the wheel in place, you're going to turn the magazine over and put in one pellet backwards. That's going to hold your wheel in place, and now you can turn the magazine over again and fill in all the empty spaces. Once you're done, just snap that cover back in place, and you're ready to go. All right, you can see here I got my single shot tray inserted. But you see that little notch right there? This is magnetic, so this just slides like butter. Wow, that's awesome. And then it sucks itself on with magnetic force and holds itself in place. That is super cool. So that slides out. You got your magnetic magazine there. We're gonna go left side, groove forward. You guys, look at this. Yeah, that's awesome. So that's just held in there by magnet. So that's sweet. Very smooth. Here's a sound test on a full 15 pumps with my very large Shogun LDC on there. The sound of me talking is about 65 decibels. 59 decibels. Yeah, that's crazy quiet. Nothing on the front. A little bit of a difference. In this first shooting segment, I'm using the lightweight, compact UTG Bug Buster Scope. And before I started my channel, I had about six of these and I used to use them on all my guns. They're available in 3 to 9 power, 3 to 12 power, and they have everything from 5 yard parallax, illuminator reticle, mill dot, all that stuff. Although later in this video, I am going to go ahead and put my Hawkeye Scope onto this gun. All right, we got a little bit of wind, a little bit of rain, and a little bit of Dragonfly MK2, and a little bit of Crossman Premieres. Had a very special, nailed it almost 26 yards away, going for 25. All right, you guys, I found that the 15.89 grain Hades are grouping the best for me so far. Better than the Crossman Premieres. I'm not sure if I'm sighted in, let's see. You guys, this is exactly on 10 pumps. All right, new bullseye. Nice. That one might have been nine pumps. I pulled that one a little bit, I could feel it. Boom, baby, ending it. That's three shots. That's three shots. That's three shots. That's three shots. And that's three shots, so I'm satisfied. We got quarter size groups reliably with the JSB Hades. 
Look, this guy's like happy to have me give him a ride outside. He looks like a stealth bomber. <laughs> He's stealth bomber shape, so let's give him a ride out. Instead of grabbing him, I just put my hand there and he crawled right on. Let's see if he wants to fly away. This guy told me off camera that he was actually a subscriber to Airgun Channel, so. I said, thanks for subscribing, dude. And that reminded me that I definitely appreciate all you subscribers. Can't take flight, buddy. There he goes. And all you loyal viewers that leave comments every week. Bugaboo and I read all the comments. Although there's so many now we can't respond to them all the time. All right, after you take, unscrew your up and down adjustment, that can come out and this actually flips over, but this seems like it doesn't want to go up, but you just go bink. And so I guess that's how you would have it when you have a scope on there, because my scope just barely touches that. When it came time to mount my Hawk scope, I did need to take the entire front sight off. Once you remove the elevation screw, it's still on there pretty solid, but it's just pressure fit on there. I used the end of a plastic screwdriver, just gave it a few gentle taps, and it came right off. I went ahead and used my Hawkeye scope. There will be a link in the description for the rest of the accuracy testing in this video. All right, this should be 46 yards. 46 yards away. Here are the Hades. There we go, there's your group. 46 yards might have been a little far for precision shooting with this gun. You can definitely hit cans though. So great for plinking. All the shooting in this next segment, I'm doing on a full 15 pumps with the Hades pellets. By the way, this is 10 pumps right here. 650 feet per second. Some of these I may have done 14. Every once in a while I would do 16. But very consistent on the velocity. 15 pumps basically nails these Hades at 700 feet per second. But I would say whatever pumps you choose, whether it's 8, 10, or 15, you're going to be shooting the same FPS every time. Within, I would say, 5 FPS. If you really want to have a great time with this gun, back it up to about 15, 20 yards, and you can actually do some precision shooting. We're talking pellet on pellet. We're still at a very special 40 yards. I'm going to take care of these guys. Hades are actually the best pellet out of a lot of guns, even though they're one of the nastiest hollow points you can get. Direct hit. The velocity on this thing is spot on. <laughs> I slipped on the trigger and boy, I nailed that thing. I will give Mickey's head one shot. <laughs> I hit him. He didn't die though. And he does get to live. You get shot in the head and you make it. You get to be in the next video. Let's just shoot in the middle. Which one do you think will hit? I think we hit them both. That was for sure a direct hit. That was awesome. This is definitely the most fun part of the video to film. I set up at 15 yards away, and I was able to shoot groups like I was shooting a $1,500 PCP. So here's a little demonstration of the pellet on pellet capability. Oh my gosh, you guys, so like, I didn't want to fire up the cameras because my neighbor keep firing up his chainsaw. So I was like, I'll just sight in and then I'll start recording, you know, after that. Check this out. And it was weird, I thought I was sighted in at 40 yards, but actually that does make sense now. Because your pellet goes up and then it goes down. So at 40 yards, we're also sighted in, apparently, for 15 yards. So uh, those are my first two shots. We're going to call that sighted in. I'm going to shoot some groups with the Hades at 15 yards. Let's get this party started. I did eight pumps at my leisure. All right, let's see what's going on. Yep. Oh, this is going to be good, you guys. That's a dime-sized bullseye right there. 
<laughs> through the same hole. <laughs> All right. I think I'm just pulling at you guys. So I was trying to decide if I wanted to use eight or nine pumps. So it looks like nine pumps gave me 640 feet per second, but eight pumps gave me 619, and it gave me 619 almost every single time. Pretty awesome, but I decided to go with nine pumps. All right, we're at 15 yards. I decided to do nine pumps with the Hades, and the one thing that I do know is that I'm not gonna miss. All right, we're at 15 yards. <laughs> Boy, it's super clear through my scope. Oh, that was so rad. Hit this guy right in the sticker. Yeah, that's what I was looking for. That might have been a miss. The last thing I would tell you is these little screws, they have a Phillips on each side and you might want to tighten them because I didn't tighten this one and they basically look like this. So I got to pop this back in there and then go to the hardware store and just get a normal, probably like a four to six millimeter screw right there. But yeah, go ahead and tighten these before you start playing with your MK2. All right, that's it for me on this one. I do appreciate y'all tuning in. I definitely enjoyed this gun. The 15 pounds of cocking effort really does stay the same all the way up to your 15th pump. So it's easy to use. You'd have to experiment with different speeds of different pellets to find the best accuracy. But it's definitely a capable pump gun. Very nice. So I definitely enjoyed the Dragonfly MK2. All right, everybody. Take care out there. Happy shooting. We'll see you on the next one.